Queen Elizabeth II is the longest reigning British monarch in history. She is the longest lived British monarch and the world's longest serving female head of state, oldest living monarch, longest reigning current monarch, and the oldest and longest serving current head of state. She married husband Prince Philip in 1947 and they went on to have children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren, the newest addition to the family being baby Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. But who exactly are the Queen's children and how many grandchildren does she have in total? Prince Charles Prince Charles, 70, is the oldest of the Queen and Prince Philip's children, born on November 14, 1948 making him next in line to the throne. As his mother became queen in 1952, meaning she has reigned for an incredible 67 years, Charles, aged four at the time of his mother's accession to the throne, is by proxy, the longest serving heir apparent in history. Charles was named Duke of Cornwall and Duke of Rothsey in 1952 and was later bestowed the title of Prince of Wales. During his school years, he was educated at Cheam and Gordonson schools, as well as the Timbertop campus of Geelong Grammar School in Australia. He was later admitted to Trinity College, Cambridge, where he read anthropology, archaeology and history, which was different from royal customs where traditionally royals immediately joined the British Armed Forces after completing their A-levels. Prince Charles served in the Royal Air Force and Royal Navy from 1971 to 1976. In 1977 he met Lady Diana Spencer, whilst he was a companion of her sister, and whom he married in 1981. The couple had their first child, Prince William, in 1982, and their second, Prince Harry, in 1984. Charles and Diana divorced in 1996 following a string of well-publicized extramarital affairs by both parties and a year later, Princess Diana was tragically killed in a car crash in Paris. In February 2005, Charles announced his engagement to Camilla Parker Bowles and the couple were married just three months later. As Prince of Wales, Charles undertakes official duties on behalf of the Queen and the Commonwealth realms and supports many charities, particularly environmental causes which he strongly advocates. Princess Anne Princess Anne, 69, was born on August 15, 1950 at Clarence House in London. She is the second child and only daughter of the Queen and Prince Philip, and at the time of her birth was third in line to the throne, but is currently 14th in line. Princess Anne's education was managed by a governess, Catherine Peebles, until she enrolled I at Ben Enden School in 1963. She is known for equestrian talents and even won two silver medals and one gold medal at the European Eventing Championships. She was also the first member of the British royal family to have competed in the Olympic Games. She left school in 1968 and began dating over the subsequent few years, even dating Andrew Parker Bowles, the ex-husband of her future sister-in-law, in 1970. Anne met her husband Mark Phillips at a party for horse enthusiasts in 1968. The couple announced their engagement in 1973 and were married in November of that year. They went on to have two children. Peter, born in 1977, and Zara, born in 1981. But their relationship did not last and the couple announced they were separating in 1989, before they divorced in 1992. After her divorce was finalized, Anne married Timothy Lawrence, whom she had met begun dating in 1989. The couple, who never had children, now live in an apartment between St. James's Palace and Gatcombe Park. Prince Andrew Prince Andrew, 59, the third child and second son of Prince Philip and the Queen, was second in line to succession at the time of his birth, but is now eighth in line to the throne. He was looked over by a governess during his early school years but then attended Heather Down School before he joined Gordonston in 1973. He left Gordonston with A-levels in English, History, Economics, and Political Science but instead of attending university decided to enter the Britannia Royal Naval College at Dartmouth. Andrew holds the rank of commander and the honorary rank of vice-admiral, as of February 2015, 
in the Royal Navy, in which he served as an active duty helicopter pilot and instructor and as the captain of a warship. He saw active service during the Falklands War, flying on multiple missions including anti-surface warfare, Exocet missile decoy, and casualty evacuation. Prince Andrew married Sarah Ferguson, whom he had known since childhood, in July 1983. On his wedding day, the Queen created him Duke of York, Earl of Inverness, and Baron Killy Lee. The couple appeared to have a happy marriage and had two daughters, Princess Beatrice, born in 1988, and Princess Eugenie, born in 1990, together, presenting a united outward appearance during the late 1980s. Andrew and Sarah announced their separation in 1992 and were officially divorced in 1996. They agreed to share custody of their daughters and Sarah, affectionately known as Fergie, continued to live at the Duke of York's home for several years. As well as carrying out various official engagements, he served as Britain's special representative for international trade and investment until July 2011. Prince Edward Prince Edward is the third son and youngest of the Queen and Prince Philip's four children. Edward, 55, was educated by a governess in his younger years before he attended Gibbs School in Kensington, either Down School, near Ascot in Berkshire and eventually Gordonshan, in northern Scotland, where he was appointed head boy in his last term. He obtained a C grade and two D grades at A level before taking a gap year abroad where he worked as a house tutor and junior master for two terms at the Wananui Collegiate School in New Zealand. Upon his return he attended Jesus College, Cambridge, which sparked controversy as his A-level grades were far below the standards usually required for the entrance examination, but he graduated in 1986 with a 2-2 in history. After his degree, Prince Edward joined the Royal Marines in 1986, but he left in January 1987 having completed just one-third of the 12-month training. Following his time in the Marines, Edward pursued a career in the entertainment business where he commissioned the 1986 musical Cricket from Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice, for his mother's 60th birthday celebration, and worked as a production assistant on musicals such as The Phantom of the Opera, Starlight Express, and Cats. He met Sophie Reese Jones, then a public relations executive with her own firm, in 1994. The couple announced their engagement in January 1999 and were engaged in June of that year. On his wedding day, Prince Edward was created Earl of Wessex, with the subsidiary title of Viscount Severn, derived from the Welsh roots of the Countess's family, breaking away from royal tradition whereby sons of the sovereign were created royal dukes. It was revealed that the Queen wished Edward to be elevated from the rank of Earl to Duke of Edinburgh after that dukedom held by Prince Philip since 1947, reverts to the crown, upon Prince Philip and the Queen's deaths, and she wished for his children to be styled as the children of an earl, rather than as prince or princess and royal highness. Edward and Sophie have two children, Lady Louise Windsor, born in November 2003, and James, Viscount Severn, born in December 2007. Edward is now a full-time working member of the British royal family and supports the Queen in her official duties, often alongside his wife, as well as undertaking public engagements for many of his own charities. He took on many duties from his father upon his retirement and in 2017, such as succeeding Philip as president of the Commonwealth Games Federation and taking over the Duke's role in the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme. Prince Edward and Sophie Countess of Wessex do not take public funding, instead relying entirely on the Queen for their living expenses, after the couple sacrificed their business careers following a series of embarrassing gaffes. The royal family's funding has been under the spotlight recently, as annual reports from the palace revealed a huge increase in expenditure from the sovereign grant. However, not all the royal family take funding from the public purse and instead are maintained by Queen Elizabeth II. This includes her youngest son Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex. The Queen took Edward, along with Princess Margaret, Prince Andrew, 
Princess Anne and the Dowager Duchess of Gloucester off the civil list in 1992. The civil list was replaced by the Sovereign Grant in 2012, and comes from the Treasury. These days, Edward and Sophie do use Sovereign Grant monies for official royal duties such as their work on the Duke of Edinburgh Awards. However, unlike other senior royals, the costs of their day-to-day -day lives and the running of their royal residence does not come from public funding. Instead, the Wessex family are maintained from the Queen's funds from the Duchy of Lancaster. This money forms what is known as the Privy Purse, and is used to meet the Queen's private expenses. It is separate from the Queen's own wealth, which comes from her own private property. The Queen began this arrangement in 2002. Before this, Edward and Sophia both had their own careers, however both the Earl and Countess of Wessex had to wind down their businesses, after a series of gaffes. Sophie was caught in a fake chic sting and resigned from her PR firm. Edward, meanwhile, stepped down from his TV production company Ardent which had become embroiled in a row about breaking a filming embargo on Prince William the previous year. It finally closed in 2009 after reporting losses every year except one since it was founded in 1993. They received a one-off payment from the Queen of £250,000 at the time, and became working royals with a portfolio of royal duties to perform. However, even during their careers, they received a tax-free pound £141,00 a year from the Queen to maintain their royal residence Bagshot Park, which is owned by the Crown. These days, Bagshot Park's £250,000 a year running costs are met by the Queen. It comes in contrast to Edward's sister Princess Anne, who runs her home Gatcombe Park as an entirely private residence. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams told, Sophie and Edward Wessex are seen as among the most dependable and hard-working members of the royal family. Since they both took up royal duties full-time in 2002, they have taken up numerous patronages of their own and Edward has succeeded Prince Philip who has retired, as president of his highly successful awards scheme and reportedly will one day be Duke of Edinburgh. This year the Queen made him Earl of Forfar on his 55th birthday, in recognition of his remarkable work. In 2015 the Queen celebrated their patronages and 50th birthdays with a special reception. They are not funded by the taxpayer save for travel for official duties and security, but by the Queen's private income from the Duchy of Lancaster. They are highly regarded. Since they became full-time working royals, they have avoided controversy. Prince William and Prince Harry, as senior royals, do receive funding from the Sovereign Grant. However, the princes also have their own private fortunes which they inherited from the Queen Mother and Princess Diana. It means that they do foot some of their own bills privately, as with the fixtures and fittings in the Frogmore Cottage renovation which were meant by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex themselves.